Well, I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. Way back in June 19th, 2017, I did a study on the easy, evil fruit of easy believism. You have a lot of these celebrities coming out, professional wrestlers, rock and roll guys, and whatever else, movie stars and things. And all oh, they get saved, they've become a Christian now, and they continue living the same life that they've always lived. It's fake. And I've been proven right again. Okay? Let's listen to a little bit of what I had to say back here about this guy named Brian Welch from Corn. Wow. Well, I guess they don't need to be saved then, apparently. <laughs> I guess everybody's saved. You know? I mean... Jesus died. Do you believe that? Yes. Okay, you're saved. You're a Christian. <laughs> I mean, just let's just just take our Bibles and just throw them out. Why do we need standards? The standards are just for judging people. I mean, yeah, I posted a comment, you know, and said these people, these guys aren't saved. They're lost. You know, whatever. Some people. What standard do you have? You know, why do you, why would you say that? And I'm like, well, I just quoted Second Corinthians five seventeen. That if any man be in Christ, they're, you know, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. But what standard do you have? Uh, <laughs> insanity. Let's continue. And I was yeah. like, wow. I was like, all I was those people a out there. Man getting like emotional. And it, and it touched me because like, we do corn concerts in the crowd and it's like, everybody's like. Hey, hold on a second. Here. Love that scene. It cracks me up. Adventures with God. Whoever these people are, these wicked modern professing Christians, but this is a, from the Holy Ghost Deluxe Edition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, bah! It's like, God's going, those are my people. I was like, wow, they're all, we're all his people. We got to go touch them, and, and how can we do it if we leave? Now we got to make sure you get the Holy Ghost Deluxe Edition, or Adventures with God. <laughs> Yeah, these, these wicked, satanic charismatics. I mean, the, may the fires of hell consume you wicked people. It just is disgusting to me. They, they blame so much on the Holy Ghost. You know, some guy gets up there, you know, it's the Holy Ghost. You know, Turban uh, Hellguard, he comes out, Sunderguard, comes out and uh, and he's like, you know, freedom, freedom, freedom. Oh, they're free. They're, uh, they're healed. Oh, and stuff like this. It's the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. These guys, oh, it's the Holy Ghost told, told me that devil-worshipping heavy metal, metal rock fans, they're all God's people. We're all God's people. It's the Holy Ghost. Yeah. So, anyhow, but here it is. Uh, this is the, I won't, can't even say it, uh, no bleeping regrets, using the F word. He's on this just uh, March 8th, I guess. Or it was two weeks ago. With Rob Flynn's No F and Regrets podcast, the guitarist says he knows his preaching may have rubbed some the wrong way. I think I went too far with it, and, uh, you know, I got obsessed with it, just like I was obsessed with the drugs. So that's a great question, and I believe I did for sure. Funny that he compares modern Christianity to drugs. Hmm. And I had to come out of that and find normalcy because... There's nothing worse than a, a, a freaking irritating, you know, a religious person just shoving it down your throat. I'm just glad I got through it, you know, and I'm, I'm glad that I, I am who I am now and that I have a lot of peace and, and rest for my soul. You know, I just feel I feel very leveled and at peace with myself. For more on this story. Yeah, feels more leveled now that he's left Christianity. He's more, more peace in his soul. So I guess according to these, he believes them nuts. I guess they would say, well, see, he's, he's saved. He feels peace in his soul. That's the saved man right there that you're looking at there, you know. Yeah, singing satanic songs and, and everything else. He's saved. And I'm lost because I'm saying that there should be standards. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So there were literally people that left my ministry and called me false because of this video right here. I called out this Brian Welch guy and said, totally lost, not happening, no way, he's not a new creature in Christ Jesus. And people say, oh, I just can't support you anymore, I have to leave you. And now it comes out years later and he's saying, no, no it's, it's just like the thing I did with drugs, I tried this Christianity stuff, yeah, it's fake. Uh, you know, I'm not a Christian. He's done. So, I told you so. 
There has to be a changed life. And if there is no changed life, then it's not salvation. Okay? Thank you for watching.